Places of worship have historically been among the most important locations in communities across the world, and Sussex County, Delaware is no exception. The legacy of the small country chapels and churches across many of the towns in Delaware date back over 100 years in some cases. And with us this afternoon to preview an event that helps showcase these legacies are Reverend of Macaulay's Chapel, Malia Rust, as well as historian of St. John's Town Church. This is June Bostic. Thank you both mm -hmm. for you. being here Thank this you. afternoon. So mm -hmm. um, you guys are putting together a tour. Can you tell us, um, how did you get the idea? To do this. I'm going to let Malia tell you that because I'm not on the committee it, per se. It actually, um, we were discussing before service one day about some things and it was interesting because as our service went on at McCulley's Chapel, I saw one of my members grab a piece of paper and was making all these notes. And of course, being a pastor, I'm thinking, hey, they're taking great notes of the, of the sermon. But afterwards, she said, hey, I had this idea about a country church tour and, um, you know, and had had uh, some thoughts there and we just uh, fleshed that out by contacting other uh, small churches, uh, country churches in the area and they came on board and said, hey, this sounds uh, sounds like something we, we'd be interested in. Um, as far as we know, we've not known of this to have been done at, mm. at all. So, uh, so you've got four stops? We have four stops. Where, right. where are you going? Where are we going? We're going to start at McCulley's Chapel. Uh, which is on in the Redden area. It's mm -hmm. actually on the corner of McCulley's Chapel Road and, and Redden Road. The tour will go from there to uh, Lincoln Cornerstone, which is on uh, North Union Church Road. It used to be Union Church. Right. From there you go to Oakley Church, which is on uh, 16, and then from there go to St. Johnstown United Methodist Church uh, in Greenwood. Wow. You know, smaller churches with local congregations maybe sometimes get overlooked. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think it's important for us to, uh, why are these churches so important to our communities, yeah. I guess I should say? Yeah. I think one reason is the history behind some of these churches. You mentioned 100 years. Mm -hmm. St. Johnstown goes back further than that. Mm. So I think that there's historical value and small country churches are so much friend more friendly and you know everybody in the church. It's just an entirely different feeling, I think. A small country church just has some kind of charm that other churches don't have. Right. Sure. Because you know everybody. everybody you know everybody. You. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you belong there and you go regularly, you know everybody, and if there's a need or a concern, everybody's in on it. Mm -hmm. They're thinking about you. They're worrying about you. Yeah. And some large churches just don't offer that. You kind of get lost. just too many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. St. Johnstown, is that the one that was founded in 17... 1779. 79. Mm -hmm. There was a village of St. Johnstown before that. Mm -hmm. There were two inns. There were houses. There was a post office. And in 1776, there was a school in St. Johnstown area. Wow. So our history goes back a long way. Wow. And, and, and keeping these churches... Um, saving these churches takes a lot of renovation and it does. repairs. Yeah. Our uh, yes. original church building burned and in mm -hmm. 18, I think 79, they built a new church building, which is our current church building. Mm. It's been renovated, but it's still that building. We, we just think that people don't realize that there's still life in these little country churches. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as you said, you, you come there and it's like, like family and that we are still doing vital ministry still today, uh, still active, still doing ministry, still mm -hmm. uh, doing various programs to, to reach out into our communities. Um, so we want people with this tour to hear the history of the church, yeah. but also to realize if they're looking for a place where they'll be welcomed, um, they might think, well, but what about for young folks and for kids? Well, I know at McCulley's we have a young young man there, uh, around seven or eight years old. But uh, if you bring your kids at these churches, they will find ways to do programs for those for right. those kids. Mm -hmm. So right. I just say you get a whole bunch of new grandparents for your for your kids. <laughs> That's yeah. right. There you go. Yeah. How wonderful. Yeah. All right. So in preparing for this church tour, I'm sure you did a little bit of research, and mm -hmm. I know you, being a historian. Is there anything that either of you find fascinating or interesting about the origins of, the, of these churches? 
Well, St. Johnstown Church, as I said, it went in 1779, and it was an outgrowth of a series of meetings in the home of a William Lawls. Uh, apparently his son was converted to Christianity on his deathbed, and he spoke of this triumph over death that he had received. And the word apparently spread in the community, and Francis Asbury was involved in St. Johnstown. Really? And uh, he preached this young man's sermon. And the records indicate there were over a thousand people attending this service in a field. But anyway, from that, the congregation grew, and between buildings within Walls' home, then there were some field services held, apparently on the same area where our current church now stands. Hmm. And then, um, as I said, Francis Asbury had several records of his having been at St. Johnstown with Freeborn Garrison. So our history does go back. I think if anybody is interested in local Sussex County history, this church tour is a wonderful way to get started. Gotta and when is it? It is Saturday, September 24th. All right, and so, we'll have that information on yeah. our website, domarvalife.com. Yeah. Malia Rost and June Bostic, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so yeah. much for having us. Thank we you. appreciate mm -hmm. that. Wow. Yeah.